Hello, um, we're going to be doing the 2023 Senior Maths Challenge. Uh, you meant to have 90 minutes, but I'm going to see how much of it I can do in one hour. A uh, bit of a speed run, but really I'm kind of nervous for this because I think it's going to be very hard and I'm not very good at it. Well, I, ha I think it's going to be very hard. So, I'm um, going to try it. Uh, so, here we go. Let me just turn off the split, turn on the split. Do, do, do. Okay, here we go. So, what is the value? And I haven't haven't seen this before. So, obviously, this is just me trying to do maths. 10 to C divided by 7. That pen is too big for what we want to do. 0, 2, remainder 6. Uh, 8 times 7 is 56. 8 remainder 6, and that's 9. The square of 289 feels like it's 17 or something. Um, let's just check that. I think it's 17. 7, 0, 7, 1. Seven, four. Oh my god, it's not. Is it 19? Is it 21? No, is it 19? Is it 19? Have I just done 17 times 17? Wrong. 7 times 7 is 49. Oh my god. 7 times 1 is 7 and 4 is 11. Oh my god, this is why I'm nervous about this paper. <laughs> okay, god. Uh, let's just make this a bit smaller. Okay, so next we have, um, what is the difference between one third and 0 0.3333? So we've got, well, 0 point, we've got one third minus 333 over 1,000. Yep. So um, that's, if we do over 3,000, yeah, so 1,000 over 3,000 minus 999 over 3,000. Okay, this was not bad. 1 over 3,000. Is that surprising? Maybe. Okay, 1 over 3,000. The base triangle is decreased by 20%. Its height is decreased by 15%. What happens to the area? Okay, so we have 0.8x times... Uh, oh, no. The base has increased 1.2x times 0.85y. Uh, so we've got 1.2 times 0.85. Oh, wait, I don't need the divided by 2. It doesn't matter. I just need to do 1.2 times 0.85. 12 times 85. That's 10, 5 times 1 is 5, add 1 is 6, 8 times 2 is 16, 6 and 1, 8 times 1 is 8 and 1 is 9, so we've got 0, 2, we've got this, but really it's going to be 1.02, so it's going to increase by 2%. Yeah. Okay, we can ignore the divide by 2 because both sides would be divided by 2, yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, in 2016, the world record completed 5,000 meters three over 90 minutes six seconds. It was set by this, and it was set approximate speed in kilometers per hour. Great, that's really fun. Um, so, 19 minutes and six seconds. 19 min six seconds. Seconds to do 5,000 meters, five kilometers. So basically, in four minutes, they're doing one kilometer. Four minutes, only one kilometer. Kilometers per hour. So if I times that to get to sixty minutes, sixty minutes times by fifteen. So it's about fifteen kilometers per hour, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three triangles. What's the area of the triangle formed by joining the center of these? What's the area of the triangle? So wait a minute. Am I going to do? Two, three, and three. Three, 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 two, two. Okay. We've got an isosceles triangle. But also, I could use Heron's formula for the banter. But really, it's just this triangle where this is six, this is five, and this is five. Okay. If this is three, let's use Pythagoras. This is um, 25 minus nine. Oh, it's a three, four, five triangle. Come on, tap. Pythagorean triples. So 6 times 4 is 24, divided by 2 is 12. So it's 12. Oh, what a lovely question. Nice and gentle. Okay, how many lines of symmetry, uh, how many lines of three adjacent cells can be chosen with this grid horizontally, vertically, such as the sum of the numbers in the three cells is a multiple of 3? What the heck? 
Okay. Every single horizontal one, every single horizontal one is a multiple of three. So that's one, two. Okay, and there's two per row. And so all the horizontal ones, let's start with the horizontal ones. Horizontal ones, there's two per row, there's four rows, so there's eight, because all of them give you a multiple of three. Um, vertically, one, five, nine is 15, five, nine, 13, 27. Oh, they also are, because they're, they also are, so that's another eight. That's another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then diagonally, Oh wait, are they also that? That's kind of cool. Wait, why is that? Okay, so that is that is that is twenty. Okay, so that's three, and then going the other way, we've got four. Oh wait, there's also this one. So there's four. Oh, there's another eight. It's going to be 24. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's say 24. All right, speed. Speed is a lesson. A sequence begins. Oh, come on. What? Why are you not moving? What's, what's happening here? Okay, a sequence begins 20, 23, 20, 22, 1. What? Each term is the positive difference between the previous two terms. So I've got 20, 23, 20, 22, 1. The positive difference between the previous two terms. So this is 20, 21, and then 20, 20, and then 1, and then 20. No okay, so, okay. First, second, third, fifth, sixth. So every third, every multiple of three is a one. And then it's, and we're just going down each time. So how many are we going down? I could just work, it might actually just be quicker to just do the maths. So 10 and, oh, what's happened there? 10, 11 is 17, 16, 12 is 1, 13, 14, uh, these should be 2000 and, that's 2015, 2014, and then 15, 7 is a 1, and then 16, 17 is 13, 12, and then 18 is not, and then 19, 20 is 11 and 10, and then 22, 23 is 9 and 8, and then 24 is not, and 25 is, oh, it's because I'm cl am I clicking a button or something? And then 25 is seven. Kind of ugly, but whatever. Could have done that nicer, irrelevant. Find the pattern and solve the problem. What is the value of this? Ooh, that looks kind of cool. 99 times, so 0 0.4, okay, 0 0.4949. Minus 0 0.444444 is 0 0.050505. Now, um, if we times that by 100, that's 5.05. 5, 5, and then we minus one of them, so the answer is just 5. Oh, love that. Love that. Love that energy. Okay. When completed correctly, the cross number is filled with four three-digit numbers. Twice a fifth power. A filled with a square, a fourth power. Okay. Twice a fifth power if multiple three. So two, two to the five is okay. We've got two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. It's thirty-two. Okay, so that's not going to be it. And times by two is still not multiple three. So three to the five. I think four to the five might be too big. So four to the five is four, 16, 64. Uh, 64 times 228, 256. 
256 times 2 is 512 times 2 is too big. So 1 down has to be 3 to the 5 times 2. So 3 to the 5 is, we've got 3, we've got 9, we've got 27, we've got 81. 81 times 3 is 243 times 2. 2, 4, 3 times 2 is 486. So 4 to the power 5 is too big. 20 times it by 2. So this, I think, is like 512 or something. So this is 486. 4, 8, 6. Um, okay, 3 across is a fourth power. Uh, starting with a 6. So I think that's 5. What's 5 power 4? 5 times 5 is 25. 125. 625. Okay, boom, boom. Uh, 1 across is a square number. The fours. So I think that's going to be maybe 2 to the power of 8. What was 4 to the power of 4? No. 6 to the power of something? Oh, okay. 2 down is a cube that ends in a 5. So it has to be starting with a 5. So 5 cubed is 125. What's 15 cubed? Does that help us? Because we need it to end in a 5, basically. 15 cubed, I think, is way too big. Yeah, because 10 times 10 times 10 is way too big, so this is 125. And this, ah, oh, the final thing, a square ending in a 1. So it's an odd number squared. So 19 squared? No, what's 21 squared? It's 21 times 21. 1, 1 times 2 is 4, 0, 461. There we go. Okay, that was cool. Probably could have done it quicker, but had fun. How many of the numbers are factors? Oh, love a love question like this. So we're going to factorise out 202, no, 2 to the power of 2022. So inside I have 2 to the power of 2 plus 2 plus 1. Um, so that's 2022 oh, times 4 plus, times 7. Um, so how many of the numbers are multiples of 3? So this is just, oh, what's this? Oh, it's 2, there we go. So this only has powers of 2 and 7. So how many of the numbers? So 6 isn't, because there's no 3. 7 is, 8 is, 9 isn't, 10 isn't, because there's no 5. So it's just 7 and 8. So there's two of them. When Lou Zander oh, I'm so bad at this. Okay, I'm very, 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 very bad at these ones. I think... Let's make a grid. W, X, Y, Z. I feel like... I feel like... I feel like we also do this. But then we also have like a... Like that's like a who they're saying is lying. And then we also have a... No, that's the wrong grid. I'm also going to sneeze. Okay. If when Lou's telling the truth, then Zan okay. If when Lou's true, let's just do it like this way. Then Xander is lying. Oh, okay. If Wendy is true, then Zan then Xander is lying, which means that Yasser's telling the truth. Xander's lying. Oh, lying, truth. And if Yasser's telling the truth, then Zoe's telling the truth. Then Yasser's telling the truth. Then Wendy's telling the truth. Okay, that works. So it could be three, could be three. Okay, let's try the next one. Option number two. If Wenlu is lying, then Xander is telling the truth, which means that Yasser is lying, which means that this person is lying. Oh, that also works. So it could also be one, and those are the only two options. So. I've got one, I've got three, I'm just going to pretend that's right. Okay. Um, hate those ones. The greatest power of seven. Oh, love these though. Love a factorial question with factors. So, in 50 factorial, we've got a seven times a 14 times a 21 times a 35. Oh, we've missed out a 28 times a 49. Time. And there's everything in between. They're the only things with sevens I care about. One factor of seven, one, 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 two. So really what we've done, I know I was speedrunning past, I'll explain a bit. 
We've got 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 up to 50. Up to 50. But because I only cares about, care about powers of 7, I'm only going to look at the multiples of 7 within that multiplication, which are these ones, and then I just count how many 7s are within them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 to the power of 7. Love that. So you could divide 50 factorial by 7 to the power of 7, and then all of those 7s would cancel out. PQRST is a regular pentagon. The point U lies on ST. Okay, slow down. QP is a right angle. What the hell? Okay, regular pentagon. I can draw that. Always draw. Okay, regular pentagon. I feel like it's 108, but let's just look at it. It's 3 times 180. 540 divided by 5. Yeah, it's 108. 108. Um, the point U lines on the line ST. Okay, ST can be any of them. Let's just say it's this one. Such that QPU is a right angle. Okay, no, let's label. Okay. P, Q, R, S, T. And there's a point here such that QPU is a right angle. So that's 90. So that's 18, that's 108. The rate of the interior angle is in PUT. 18, 108, and so 126. 180 minus 126 is 54. So that's 1 to 3 to 6. 1 to 3 to 6. Uh, could I have done that clever way? Don't know. I just did 18 to 108 to 54, or 18. Points both lie on the circumference of a, the same circle, so they both lie on x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Both lie on the circumference of this, so d minus d works, so d squared plus d squared, because minus d is just d. When I square it, equals r squared, so 2d squared equals r squared. This is like a also like a Pythagoras question. Um, and then I've also got 12 minus d squared plus 2d minus 6 squared equals, well, equals r squared, so it also equals to 2d squared. Oh, and then I can find d. Okay, so 144 minus 20, ooh, 24d plus d squared plus 4d squared minus 24d. Okay, um, 12. 12 plus 36 equals 2d squared. So I've got 3d squared um, minus 48d plus 180 equals 0. I can divide that by 3. d squared minus 16d plus 60 equals 0. Oh, God. OK, how can I get to 60? 16, 12, and 5, 6 and 10, 6 and 10, d minus 6, d minus 10 equals 0, so d is 6 or d is 10. What's the question itself? The sum of it, 16. We're flying. We're flying. Okay, next, uh, 15. In Bethany's class of 13, twice as many people play basketball as football, twice as many played football as played neither. Uh, is there a Venn diagram there? Okay, so twice as many people played basketball. Okay, so if I just label these regions. So A plus B plus C plus D equals 30. Twice as many people played basketball as played football. So if this is basketball, this is football. So A plus B equals two lots of B plus C. Twice as many people played football as played neither. So twice as many people played football as played neither. So D equals two lots of B plus C as well. Uh, is that right? Twice as many people played basketball as played football. Twice as many people played football minus oh, this other round. If I slam all this in, um, I 
think I can do it all in B's and C's. So we've got 2B plus 2C, that's A plus B, plus C plus D, and D is B over C. And D B over C plus 2. And then I've got this other C that I forgot about, equals 30. We've got four unknowns and three equations, so it's just possibilities. Okay, so if I times anything by two, 4b plus 4c plus b plus c plus 2c equals 60. Who are the not? So we're trying to find possible values for b. So I've got 5b plus 7c equals 60. Okay, so basically, if I do seven times something, I need to get Basically, I have 5b equals 60 minus 7c. So basically, c can either be 0. c could be 0. If c is... Oh, wow, what's that? If c is... Wow, what is that? How did that happen? Whoa, what's that line? Okay, if c is 0, then b is 12. That could work. Um... If C is 5, B is 7, there's the only two options. Oh, I messed up. There we go. How could it be 19? C can't be negative. What's this line on my page? How did I get that there? Is that on my whole screen? No. How do I get rid of you? Oh, just like that. Okay, what have I done wrong? So all together, all together equals to 30. Twice as many people play basketball as play football. So basketball is A plus B. So if that's 10, then that's two lots of football, B plus C. Because fo anyone who plays football is B plus C. Twice as many people play football. So whatever football is, if I times that by two, No, if I times this by two, I get the amount of play football. That is quite hard to like. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, oh. okay. So then A plus B is two lots of, is this, this is A plus B, plus, and then D equals B plus C over two. So that's that. And then that's C. And that equals to 30. If I times it by two, I get 4B plus 4C plus B plus C plus 2C equals 60. So I get 5B plus 4, 5, 6, 7, C equals 60. And these have to be integers. So that means we have to do like multiples of 5, don't we? So if I get rid of, if C is 0, if C is 0, then B is 12. If C, the only other way to get to a multiple of 5 is if this is 5. If that's 5, 60 minus Oh, okay, okay. 60 minus 35 is 25, so B is 5. Oh, come on, Dan. Such a waste of time. I wasted time with silly maths. That was cool, though. I like that question a lot. Algebra, Venn diagrams, what's not to like? Okay. G and H are midpoints of two adjacent edges of a cube. Trapezium, oh, trapezium shaped edge length of cube. Oh, I need to find the area of it. Okay, so the whole thing's two root two. So this length is just root two. This length is two root two. Um, we are, oh, okay, there's a lot of Pythagoras here. This length is root two squared, which is two plus this squared. This is root two. 8, so plus 8 equals to 10, so it's root 10. This is root 10, so this is root 10. This base length, so if that's 2 root 2, which is root 8, and that's also root 8. So this length here, 8 plus 8 is 16, is 4. So that length is 4. Up here, we've got root a triangle that's root 2, root 2, root 2, root 2. So 2 plus, oh, plus 2 is 4, so that's 2. So that's 2. And then we just need to find this length. 
if we cut that down, that's two, that's gonna be one, that's gonna be one, because it's symmetrical. So one, that's root 10. This length is 10 minus one is nine, so that's three. So the area is, oh wow, that's cool. There's no thirds in the answer. It's just, um, how do you find this? It's just three times half of four plus two. So it's, uh-oh. Uh-oh. How do you find the average right of this? It's it's half a plus b times height. And I got a I got half of six. Oh it's nine. It's nine. It's nine. It's nine. It's nine. Great question. Loads of Pythagoras. Love it. Love it. The number is a small number which uses all Hello. Oh, I made a shape. Maybe that's what's going wrong. Oh, I made another shape. Oh, maybe that's what's going wrong over here. I keep making random... So okay, you're wasting time. The number is the smallest number which uses all the non-zero digits, one each, and has the property that none of the pairs make a prime number. For example... Okay, if I have nine here, and I need to not make a prime, I could put one there. And then next to that, I could put, oh, maybe I'll do pairs that make primes, and then I need to get rid of those. Huh, that's interesting. So if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that works, that doesn't work, that works, that works. That works. That works. Um, that works. That works. That works. That works. Um, two doesn't work with three. Two works with four. Two works with six. Two works with seven. Two works with eight. Three doesn't work with four. Three works with five. Three works with six. Three works with seven. Three works with nine. Four works with two. Four works with five. 4 works with 6, 4 divided by 7, 4 works with 8. Ah, this was stupid. I'm <laughs> right doing it like this. I should have written them out. Okay, I should have written them out. So it's 1, 3, 1, 5, 1, 7, 1, 8, 1, 9, 2, 8, 2, 4, Two six two seven three five three six. I don't know if this is the right thing I'm doing, but let's just work it through. Three nine, and then I do my fours. Four two four five four six four eight, and then I do my fives, and then I don't need to do my sixes because then the six is just the same as the threes. Oh, the sixes have already been done, basically. Oh no, they haven't, because I need to do six and eight and stuff. Okay. Um, five and, oh, but five and all the lower ones are done, so it's just all the bigger ones. So five and seven, five and nine, and then six and, six and eight, and six and nine, seven and eight, and seven and nine, and then I've done all the nines. Okay, so what am I actually doing? It's the smallest number which uses all the non digit dimensions and not the pairs. The largest number. Okay, I think what I can do is just do some flipping. Because look, if I look at the one they give me, okay, let's, let's think about this. If I look at the one they give me, can I just flip numbers around? So I've got one, two, three, I don't know, I've got one, Oh, one, two, four, five, six, three, nine, eight, seven. Now, if I just flip this other way around, write it as seven, eight, nine, it's still gonna work. Six, five, four, two, one, but that's bigger. But I could also swap eight and seven and it still works. Can I swap nine and seven? If I swap nine and seven, that still works. Oh no, it doesn't, but nine, seven, 
8 stars. Oh, I'm doing this stupid. I should just go down bit by bit. So it's just, oh, I keep making these things boxes, I think. Oh, is that what's going wrong here? That is, I should just be, I've done this stupidly. So nine, the biggest thing that connects to nine is a seven. The biggest thing that can, can go next to a seven is an eight. The biggest thing that can go next to an eight is a six. The biggest thing that can go next to a six is a four of what's left. The biggest thing that can go next to a four is a five. The biggest thing that can go next to a five is a three which can go next to a two, which can go next to a one. Oh no, that doesn't work. You can't put twos and one next to each other. Hold on. Wait, what? I don't... I've been doing this wrong the whole time. I've been adding them together. Oh my God, what a waste of five minutes. Oh my good Lord. Ninety-eight is not a prime. This this question's easy and I made up. It's just the numbers next to that. Ninety-eight is not is not prime. Eighty-seven is not prime. Seventy-six is not prime. Sixty-five is not prime. Fifty-four is not prime. Forty-three. Forty-three might be prime. That might be prime. So I'm going to go forty-two. Twenty-one. I'm going to go like that. I'm actually fuming. The fifth and sixth digits. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's just five, four. Um, um, oh my God. That was what a waste of my life. Okay, that was stupid. I was adding for no reason. I've also done something stupid here, but I need to fix that later. Okay. How many solutions are there of this? Okay, so we've got one plus two y minus four y squared minus eight y cubed equals zero. I've let y equals to sine x. I can factorize this by grouping one plus two y minus two lots of two y. Oh no, minus four lots of y. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, this is cool. So and then I factorize this one. That's four y y plus two y. Oh, that's a one equals zero. Now I factorize that. That's one plus two y. Have I written this down right? One plus two y, lots of one minus four y. So I've got, I've got um, y equals minus a half. I've got y equals a quarter. Um, from 0 to 360, sine x is this, do, do, do. it equals minus a half twice, it equals a quarter twice, there are four solutions. That's a great question, love that. Cool, that's like a factorizing my groupings thing. 7n plus 2 plus 12 takes integer values. Okay. Do I want to do the division? I don't know. Okay, I think I can rewrite this as 2n plus 3 over 2n plus 3 plus 5n plus 9 over 2n plus 3. How does that help? 1 plus 5n plus 9 over 2n plus 3. And I can do it again. So 2 plus, I take it, 3n plus 6 over 2n plus 3. Oh, ho, ho, wait a minute. 3 plus n plus 3 over 2n plus 3. What do I do now? Integer values. n could be anything. It could be positive or negative. But wait, this is bigger than this. The denominator is bigger than the numerator. Which means that if I plug in any values of n, I'm going to get a fraction. Let's put, okay, well, if n is 0, I've got 3 over 3. So I've got 3 plus 3, which is 1. So that works. 
four works. N is one. I'm gonna get no no no. I'm gonna get four divided by something bigger than that, which is a fraction. So negatives. If it's minus one, that's two divided by one. Oh, that works. Okay. How about minus two? But surely I can go on forever. That's minus two plus three is one over minus two minus four plus three, which is minus one. Three minus one is two. Oh yeah, and I think the rest of these are gonna be No wait. Why can't I just go on forever here? Like what if n was minus three? Then I have three plus zero, which is three. Okay, what if n was minus four? Then I've got minus one over now how do I know this isn't just gonna work forever? Minus eight. Oh, well that's. I don't know. Let's pretend these are the only ones. I maybe you'll get a random answer elsewhere, but I don't think you do. But I can't. I can't prove why. Um, Ten, fourteen. Oh, that's the biggest one. So there aren't there aren't going to be any more. Yes, but I don't know why. I can't prove it. That's a weird one. Never really seen that before. Um, this triangle. 35 minutes to do 19 questions is not a bad, but obviously it's just going to get much more disgusting. Triangle field. Alex equals B. Walk at the same speed in opposite directions. The first meeting is at M. Okay. So I have that the journeys are the same. So P plus R is the same as Q plus, if I call this X, X, and X, so I've got P plus R equals Q plus uh, the square root of P plus Q squared plus R squared. I need Q in terms of P and R. Ugh. Uh, I mean, do I just square both sides? No. If I take away Q, no. Uh, I need to make Q the subject of this formula. But then I'm going to need to square something disgusting. Okay, let's do it. P plus R minus Q squared equals P squared plus Q squared plus 2PQ plus R squared. And this is, okay, this is P plus R minus Q times P plus R minus Q. I'm hoping things are going to cancel like crazy. P squared plus PR minus PQ plus PR plus R squared minus QR minus QP minus QR plus Q squared. Anything cancel already? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 there should be a PR. Anything cancel already? No, okay, let's simplify this anyway. So P squared plus R squared plus Q squared minus 2PQ minus 2QR. Why have I only got 1PR plus 2PR? Okay, sure. Equals P squared plus Q squared plus 2P squared plus R. Oh, 2PQ. Whoa, why did I do that again? 2p q plus r. What can I simplify here? Oh, p squared cancel. See you later. Q squared cancel. See you later. So now I've got on this side, I've got 4p q 
plus 2qr equals r squared minus r plus 2pr. No way this is right. Zero chance. Absolutely zero chance. Because now I've got q equals r squared minus r plus 2pr all over 4p plus 2r. And what the hell is that? Oh, wait a minute, it looks a bit like this. You know what? I don't know the answer. I would, I'd bet it's this. But I don't know, because I think I've done something wrong. But I don't know what I've done wrong, really. Can I simplify this? I want to be able to factor the two doesn't go anywhere. Uh, I don't know how to factorize that. I don't even like even if I like complete the square R minus no oh wait I have P plus R equals Q plus X does that help me? <laughs> nope I back what I've done I'm going to come back to this one I think 20 I think it's C, just because of whatever garbage I've ended up with here. Okay, I'm going to leave all of that, and I think I'll just do it again when I want to, at the end, in, 20, in the next 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, what is this? Done something interesting here. I need to work out my gestures. Okay. The triangle is equilateral. A semicircle is drawn with its diameter so that one end is at P. The radius is at root 3. What's the length of QX? Let's draw you bigger. Okay. Oh, wait, I've drawn this just terribly. What can I undo? Don't know. Oh, wait, maybe I can. Oh, I could probably just screw. Oh, whatever. What happens if I do this? I like. No, let's just draw it. Got a waste of a minute. This is root three. Oh, this is also root three. What I'm trying to find. What's the length of QX? This is also root 3 and this is also root 3 so first I draw my radiuses um, it's equilateral that's also root 3 oh I can find this that's that's is that vertically below it? how do I know that? How do I know this is a right angle triangle here? Oh, 
oh, it's like a tangent thing. It's like if it's tangent, then it makes a 90 degrees. Okay. So this, if I do, that's such a weird isosceles triangle then. That's jarring. Okay. Root, okay, 3 minus, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, obviously, because this, this length is here. <sighs> okay. That length is x. Don't know what this is. Don't know what this is. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, let, let's try this. So I've got root 3 plus x squared minus, let's call this y, minus 3 equals y squared. But I also know that... No, wait, I don't. That length. This doesn't feel right. Root 3 plus 2 root 3 x plus x squared minus 3 equals y squared. They cancel, so I just have 2 root 3 x plus x squared equals to y squared. 2 root 3 is root 12. But the thing is, what I'm trying to find really is this. And I know that a plus y equals x plus 2 root 3. Whoa, wait a minute. This is x, x plus 2 root 3. And this is x plus 2 root 3, so x a plus y equals to y squared. What's this? Is that anything? Maybe that is something, because this is a right angle triangle up here. So I've got this triangle triangle, root 3, the length is 2 root 3 plus, let's just call it a plus, uh, okay let's all call the whole length b, and this is root a squared plus 3, Oh god, I don't like this. <sighs> Got too much going on. Too many unknowns. I don't know. I'm going to leave it. Oh, I don't like that, but I don't know. So I'm going to leave it. Hmm. I might just I might I might try and grab it and move it. Can I grab this? No, I can't. I've me I've messed this up somehow, but let's go on the other side. Which diagram a sketch of this curve? Um. Okay. Let's make cos minus 1 x equals to theta. So I've got sine of theta. Now, if x equals to, let's draw cosine quickly. If x equals to 0, then theta, then cos minus 1 theta is 1. Sine of, wait. That equals, okay. Then I've got, which is one, and sine of one is something ridiculous. But if I do, if I do cos of x is, if I do x is, 
I did this wrong way around. If x is 1, then theta is 0, and sine of 0 is 0. So it goes through 1, 0. Okay, so it's going to go through 1, 0. x is 1, y is 0. x is 1. Okay, so c or d, not those. And then, okay, it's going to be the circly one. I don't know why, but it is. What about, what about 180 or something? What else can we look at? What about y is... Okay, when... Why are you getting these lines? Please go away. Oh, well, this line seems to be... Why is that doing that? Ah, oh, what a waste of time. Okay, this line is just jarring now. Um, what other points do I have to go through? Zero, one. It's going to be the circle one. It's going to be the circle one. So if theta is this, then x equals cos theta. So that's x over 1. So if I have a rival triangle, well, that's theta. Cos theta is adjacent hypotenuse. So this is root 1 minus x squared. So sine theta is root 1 minus x squared. And that, this, x is just cos theta. So this is just a circle. This is just circle energy, huge circle energy. Circle energy. Um, why are you here? How do I get rid of you? <laughs> what even are you? Okay. The length of a rectangle piece of paper is three times its width. I had 52 minutes, got 10 minutes to do these three questions. Uh oh. So. Oh, uh, wait, the paper's fault is that one vertex lies on top of the opposite vertex. I'm getting to the paper. So one vertex. Got like a pentagon. If that's one, then that's one. I'm just gonna draw the shape I've got. Oh, I'm drawing lines. Why am I drawing lines? Why am I drawing lines? Interesting. Okay, let's try this again. So I've got... What? Okay. One, one, something, something, something. But this length... If I folded that over here, I'm literally just folding this. So that's one, that's three. So this is x, this is three minus x. This is three minus x. I've drawn this badly, haven't I? It should be like this. Yeah. Okay, I've drawn it. Now, what am I actually doing? <laughs> What's the area? It's a fraction of the original. Got no idea, mate. Absolutely no idea. Got some, got some rightangle triangles here. But... I'm just looking at this. Um... The area of this, no, the area is not the same, it's like the section is covered. What section is covered? The section that's covered has a, so really, I want this area. That's the area that's covered. 
this length down here is 3 minus x. Yeah, this length is covered because I've lost x. Hold on a minute. It's symmetrical. That's 3 minus x. That's the equilateral triangle. Hold on. So can I just do maths? Can I just do 1 plus x squared equals 3 minus x squared? Oh, I'm running out of time. 9 minus 6 x plus x squared. Get rid of the x squared. 6 x equals 8 x equals 4 thirds. Um, the pentagon has the same shape except take away this bit. So the pen the whole thing is three, and that's four sets. Okay, I've got an equilateral triangle where each length is three minus four thirds, so that's five thirds. Nine thirds. Well. I don't know the form of an equilateral triangle. I should, but I don't. generally x x x x over 2 and then x squared minus x squared over 4 3x squared it's it's like 3 over 2 base times high over 2 or something okay 3x squared over 2 and then we just do and it's the square root of that what? What? Ah! Okay. Um, let me square root it. So it's 3, it's root 3x over 2 is that length. So times that by x. Okay, it's root 3x squared over 4. Oh no, but the whole length is x. So it's x times that over 2. Yeah, I think it's this. So x is 5 over root 3, so we've got root 3 times 25 over 9 over 4. Ugh. Wait, and wh wait, what? Okay. So that's 25 root 3 over 36. Now, the whole shape is 3. And th this small shape is 3 minus... It's the exact same area, except I've taken away... What? Ah! Ah, why am I losing my mind? When I fold this up, I feel like I've done everything except for getting the right answer. I've literally found X. The area of this I mean, okay, I know, I can just do this slowly. That's the area. That's the area of that one. I'll just add these small ones, which are, it's just x times 1. So it's just, okay. It's 25 root 3 over 36. Something is bugging out my computer, which is really sad. 25 root 3 over 36 plus 4 over 3 divided by 3. But that's not going to give me a got a root 3 for some reason. <sighs> what I've got is 25 root 3. What's a fraction of the area? No idea. Okay. 
I don't know. And I'm jarred. Don't know, and I'm jarred. And I've only got 30 seconds left. Hello? A bit worried by this, by what's happening to my computer, but whatevs. Okay, I'm not going to do 24. Let's look at 25 just for fun before I run out of time. So I've got. I can factorise out xy squared, and I've got, oh, an hour, so sad, x squared y, nope, just x squared minus x minus y squared plus y, oh, this looks nice, xy squared brackets x plus y x minus y, and that's y minus x. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's slow down. So that's x squared minus y squared minus x plus y. So that's x y squared brackets x plus y x minus y minus x plus y. If I take out x minus y, I have x y squared x minus y, and here I've got x plus y minus 1. Ho ho ho! I've done something good, I think. Okay. This, I think, irrelevant, because I can just divide both sides by but these I now have a restriction I've got y equals x which is here and 0 is less than x y is greater than x okay so we're in like this region here this region um, why is the divide not why is that not working and then I have okay so I've got that and then I've got this one which is y x plus y minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. So y is greater than or equal to minus x plus 1. This? No. OK, I'm not quite sure what. Oh, wait, y is bigger than x. OK, the issue is that I'm trying to find it's bigger than this, it's on this side of this line, but it can't be this area because that's infinite. So it's going to have to be less than. Somehow this switched around. Don't know why. Sorry. So then I'm just finding this, this area here. Um, this is y equals minus x plus 1. This is y equals x. So I've got um, x equals minus x plus 1 x equals a half. So that is a half. When x is a half, that's also a half. This length is 1. So I've just got base times height 1 times half divided 2 is a quarter. Oh, hey! OK, didn't try 24. Bugged out on 21. Bugged out on 20. Also tried about 23. We're calling it there. Yay! Oh my god. That was hard and kind of fun. Yeah, bun off 24. 20, I could look at it again. I think that's felt good. That's fun paper. Fun and hard paper. Now, um, I'll come back with the answers. Okay, we're back. These are the solutions. Let's just speed through, see what I got right and wrong. Okay. Oh my god, I got the first question wrong. Oh wait, did I circle 19, but actually I was doing 17? Oh, did I circle the wrong answer? 17 times 17? Yeah, I had written 17 times 17 and I circled 19. That is jarring. I'm giving myself that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, C. Wow, yeah, something's happening here with my clicking. I don't know why. Um, so... Uh, C, C, D, C, B, 
B, D, A. Woohoo! Uh oh. Nine is D. I got that wrong. Okay. Ten is B. Yeah. Eleven is B. Yeah. Twelve is E. Oh no, but I love those ones. Twelve. Wait, what? How much is a factor of 50? Oh my god, I missed out 42. I literally missed out 42. I'm a melon. I'm, I'm giving myself it. Because I missed out 42. That's a stupid mistake. That's dry. 13A. Good. Wow, something is, something is happening here. 13A. 14 E 15 D 16 A 17 E Oh I got this wrong oh. 3 and 5? What was wrong with what I did? 9, 8 works 87 works 76 works 65 works 54 works Between the fifth and sixth digit, one, two, three, four, five. Why does why does fifty four not work? N is the largest number to which all the non-zero digits once, and which has the property that none of its pairs to make a prime number. Oh wait a minute, am I actually? Is it because forty two, twenty one, and th oh my god, it's because it doesn't work back here. So you have to go three, four, one, two, or three, four, two, one. Uh, it's 50 th 53, 53 th seems prime. But 35 isn't. Okay, I just got this one wrong, that's sad. Didn't actually try it. 18, let's grab this guy. 18C, yup, good, 19E, oh nice, that was cool, 20C, yeah, knew it, don't know why, 21D, didn't do it, sad, 22C, yeah, 23D, didn't do it, 25A, yes, didn't do 24, okay, we take that, some silly mistakes, some good maths, we actually have all the solutions here, I can see why I which one I got wrong, and uh, this one, what happened here? What happened here? I thought I did this. I thought I did this. Why did I bug out so much? Okay, I got very close to that. Um, didn't do that last one. Yeah, what happened here? Why is this? Why is? Oh, it's positive negatives. Okay, there was some clever thing there that I didn't do. This one. How did you get that that was two? Trig? How did you get that, that was two? So that's 60 and that's root three. Oh, so that's root three and that's 60. We do trig. forgot about my trick. This one, yeah, cool. Okay, overall, um, a score of about 21, I think, about 21 out of 25. We take that, that was really fun. Maths is great. Um, I'm gonna relook at this one, but actually, oh, I just forgot that this, I forgot to look, think about angles. And then that's just trig. That's sad, because then that is just one and two. And then it's pretty easy. Then it's really easy. That's really sad. But I'm, the last one also, I got most of the way there. I math challenged it. I didn't get the right answer, but I math challenged it. And same with 20, made a mistake, but math challenged it. And then didn't do this, 
Didn't even try this. No idea what went, what, what went wrong here. Subscribe for more maths. Well done if you got to the end.